All right, I'm actually recording this after the fact because my last recording screwed up the camera. It was doing some weird focusing stuff and it was out of focus. So anyway, in this video, I'll be installing, or I already did install, but anyway. So in this video, I'll be installing the drywall on the crawl space. Now it's been a long end of winter. I find the end of winter is always longer than like the whole winter itself. It just starts to get depressing and I just get sick of it. And I find it's a different kind of cold too. Like it's cold that goes like right through. And then everything is like really slushy and icy and messy because the snow kind of melts and then it freezes. So you can't even go for walks without like slipping everywhere, or stepping in dog crap. So it's starting to feel a bit down. So just losing motivation to do stuff and all that. And I think I get a little bit of seasonal affective disorder sometimes there. But anyway, so it's taken a while before I got to this point, but it's finally nice out and my motivation is back up. So I finally installed, or I will install the, this could be tricky because this is supposed to go at the beginning of the video, but then the job's already done because I had recorded this before. But anyway, let's just pretend I didn't do it yet. Yeah, so now that I'm feeling better, I will be installing the drywall in the crawl space. Now I already did like a little border kind of round and that's just to push on the paper barrier to make sure that's sealed against the bottom plate. So you'll notice that I, when I install the drywall, I will be installing it a little higher than you normally would because it's about, it's almost the height of a two by four, but not quite. I think it comes up to that about an inch. But anyway, so yeah, I will be installing it a little bit higher than you normally would. And then that border is just, it's just there to push down on the vapor barrier. That's all it's there for. So as you can see, what I'm showing you right now. But yeah, anyway, with, without further ado, uh, let's get started. So the trick I found here is instead of trying to get the measurements dead on, when you go to put the sheet, sometimes you have to shift it a little bit because it might not fit quite as much as you thought. So it's easier to make the hole smaller. And then when I go to put the sheet up, I'm just gonna cut around wherever it kind of ends up. Now for these pipes, it's gonna be tricky because I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna plaster in between the pipes instead of trying to make like four perfectly round holes. I was actually gonna transfer each measurement individually and I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna fix it when I do the plaster. I definitely respect people do this as living because it's it's not as easy as it looks. Like to try to because there's so many outlets and stuff to go around. So yeah, gonna get the sheet up and hopefully my measurements were at least close enough. And it's very tricky working in crawl space because I can't just put it up because it doesn't fit that way. So I need to like maneuver in this really weird way to try to get it. So yeah, it's kind of tricky. I don't even know how I did this last time. It's like really tricky working on in here. Oh. Yeah, see, of course it doesn't line up perfectly on top. Oh, and I got this way off. Ah, well that sucks. Oh, I think I'm just gonna make another hole. I'm just gonna patch that at some point. I don't wanna waste a whole sheet of drywall. <laughs> Ugh. 
Okay, so this sheet did not go too well. You can see here it's not quite uh, Actually, it's hard to see on the uh, camera. You can see here how it's not quite flush. And the reasoning for that is that wooden border. Uh, originally, when I did the other sheet, I used like a 2x4 as a spacer. And the, the reason for that was so that the drywall goes over that border. And then I realized that it doesn't really need to go over the border. I can just make it go lower. That's way lower than I wanted it, by the way. But then what happens is by going over the border, then it kind of rounds the bottom a bit. So yeah, that's not very good. So technically I should redo that and then I kind of screwed up like, like the hole, like I actually measured it wrong and then I put it, I started cutting below my line instead of on top. So like I just put a piece in there for now, but I'm gonna have to patch that. So with all these mistakes, I'm almost thinking I should probably just like make this a write off and then just redo this. But I already put the screws in and everything. This is just a crawl space, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and not bother redoing it. But for the next sheets, I'm going to make sure that the spacing is actually like better. So yeah, so I think I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I mean, if this was like the main basement area, I would be more concerned. But basically I'm doing this part for practice. So yeah, I just learned from that mistake and I'm going to do that again. I think I'm just going to move on from it. All right, so that is done. Uh, that did not go as well as I had hoped. Uh, I'm not quitting my day job, that's for sure. Uh, drywall is much harder than I figured. Uh, just trying to get stuff to line up properly and all that. And halfway through, I realized that my floor is so crooked. So, and I was going by the floor to make sure that it was square with the studs, which didn't work out very well. So there's a couple sections where I actually had to cut like the edge, like in a slight angle just to get it to fit. And then I realized that I, I could have just shimmed it up a little bit on both sides to kind of make it so that it meets up at the stud. But anyway, so yeah, it's done. And I have to fix the power outlets because they're not quite flush with the drywall. So I bought these shims. I actually did it already. I bought some shims and I put 
the main where the screws are so the outlet kind of sticks out a little bit more so when I go to put the plate on it's going to be nice and flush with the drywall and then the next step is to plaster now I was kind of debating on whether I was going to bother because it's just a crawl space but the job is so botched that I kind of want to fix it so I'm just going to plaster the whole thing make it nice and smooth and put a primer on it and just leave it at that probably so yeah so that is it for this video I hope you enjoy that and please like, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up and all that good stuff. It really helps the channel. And I'm hoping to have more projects coming soon where I can make more videos. Now, the big thing is once I build my shop, I'll be able to do a lot of smaller projects, do like electronic stuff and all that, and make videos on that. So right now, I don't really have a proper area to work on stuff like that. So I've just been making videos on, on actual house projects, which are more tricky to make because you're working like all over, like you need to move the camera a lot. So once I have a shop and I can make smaller projects, I think it'll be better and I'll be able to provide more content. So anyway, have a good one and thanks for watching. Bye.